Need to add some comments in your Markdown? Let's take a look at two different ways you can do this. Now, strictly speaking, Markdown doesn't have a standardized way of including comments, but there are actually two different things that you could do to go and create comments in your Markdown files, just like you could in a normal programming language. The first approach is to use HTML comments. So to create an HTML comment, we're going to start with the angle brackets and then use an exclamation mark to open the comment followed by two dashes. Then to close the uh, comment here, we're going to use two dashes and then the closing angle bracket. And then we can put the comment text inside of here. So between the opening comment and closing comment tags. So we'll say, fix this. And now you can see that we've created a comment that over on the left side is visible. So in the markdown source text is visible, but in the rendered markdown is not going to show up at all. You can even split this comment over multiple lines. So if we wanted to, we could go and create a multi-line comment just like this. Um, where we've got created an opening comment on the first line here, and then the comment body, and then the closing comment um, syntax on the last line there. So you can have spaces, new lines, other things inside of the comment. Now, one thing to keep in mind with the HTML comment-based approach is that some Markdown engines will actually strip out HTML when they are rendering uh, the Markdown, but some will also leave it in place. So depending on your use cases, you might want to be careful about what you actually put inside of the comment. So if we did something like password, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, classic password there. Um, this could actually be included as an HTML comment inside of the rendered HTML over here. And anybody that goes and inspects the page source would be able to see our very secret password that we've set up. So just keep that in mind because again, some Markdown engines will directly include any inline HTML elements in the rendered Markdown. Now, if you don't like using the HTML comments or are worried about your comments being included in the rendered Markdown, there is an alternative, and we can sort of abuse the Markdown link definition syntax to go and create comments as well. So for the link definition syntax, we would typically have something like definition and then the link that we uh, point to. So we'd say something like HTTP example.com. The thing you can notice here, though, is that link definitions that are not used anywhere actually don't get included at all in the rendered Markdown. We can use this observation to go and create something that looks sort of like a comment inside of our markdown. So let's go and replace the definition, which was our um, original definition here with the word comment. And then we're going to replace the part here, which is the link destination, just with the hash sign. And then as uh, the actual comment text, we're going to surround the entire comment text in parentheses. And this would normally be the link title, but again, we're sort of misusing this syntax to go and create a comment. So we could say, fix this. And now we've gone and created a comment that it's not the prettiest looking comment, but it is something that is going to work across different Markdown engines. And this text here, the comment text, is definitely not going to get included in the output unless you're doing something very strange with your Markdown where somehow the source code is getting included. But almost all normal Markdown renderers will see that this link definition is unused and just omit it entirely rather than including anything here. This means you can put things that you might not want to be publicly exposed in this type of comment. Um, not that you should necessarily check in passwords and that type of thing, but you can have comments that are maybe internal uh, and those will never be rendered in the rendered markdown. Personally, I prefer using the HTML comment syntax and it's actually very easy to create those type of comments in VS Code. You can just hold down command and then press forward slash or uh, control and press forward slash and it'll go and create a comment uh, for the current line or for the currently selected text. But if you ever do need to make sure that whatever you're commenting on is never going to be, or whatever you're commenting is never going to be included in the rendered markdown, you can use that alternative link definition syntax as well. And you can even go and customize it for your needs. So if you want some different text here to indicate that a comment is being defined, you could go and put something like, I've seen people do slash slash here, make it a little bit shorter. Um, you can use this syntax if you need as well. Of course, some other markdown engines will actually define their own comment syntax, but these are two fairly standard compliant ways that you can include comments in your Markdown. So that's a quick look at two different ways of writing comments in your Markdown files.